This is Greg Tingle reporting for Media Man Australia, Media Man International and our current project, Media for Good. We're here at the world famous Bucket List, Sydney, Australia, back with Steve Spade. Steve, um, welcome to a very busy Bucket List. We love them here, so there's a lot going on over there, but we're here reporting for you. So Steve, from what we were covering earlier, um, you've been in the music industry since 1989. What's some of the main changes, um, good and otherwise, that you've experienced over the years and how have you adapted to the internet age and the, the world being the global audience through things like smartphones and Google Play and all that stuff? Well, you can get on it with the, the, the whole smartphone thing. Yes. That's quite, that's quite <laughs> well, for me, anyway, especially... Yeah. The day when I first started, if you wanted to record, yeah. you had to be, you had to go and you had to hire a big studio, you know, like a massive, with a big board, and yeah. have an engineer. This is our like studio that. right now, and the venue is the world famous bucket list yeah, well, yeah, on a smartphone. Have, have the studio in the pocket. <laughs> um, so that's really cool, and it just means that um, everything's a lot more immediate. Yeah. Everything's a lot more fast. Yeah. Uh, I suppose on the downside, you've got to be even more on the ball. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Technology shrunk, and so you can do everything you need to do yep. with a unit that uh, resides in your pocket. Yes. So I suppose I mean that's a, that's one of the biggest changes I would say. Oh, we say um, science fiction's become science fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the this is our broadcasting. We didn't have to get ABC or SBS <laughs> or Rolling Stone uh, here today. We're, we're doing this, and that will be distributed. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. lots ha- lots happening over there with the surf and beach culture. Surf awards. Surf awards. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not for that but Bondi Beach is such a melting pot yeah, yeah. for um, for the creative arts world and sports and so we thought oh we'd pop in here and this way we know we're at the bucket list so when they will get a beer or something after so they know where we were and thank you for the use of here we've been uh, doing dozens of events here over the years yeah. and um, we were just looking further over there earlier at the Bondi Pavilion so I mean how do you decide what venues you'd like to play because I mean they have had music in here before at the bucket list they've also had some live music at the Bondi Pavilion. So, how do you decide what's a suitable venue for yourself to perform at? Well, normally, um, if, you know, when, you, when you've got records out and you want to do a promotion, you know, yeah. uh, if you're booking agents, they normally book. You know, yeah. It could be for festivals, it could be, it could be a club night, it could be a launch, it could be. So, yeah, normally, I, I don't normally decide, but it's normally like an agent, and then I'll decide whether I want to do it or not. Yeah, usually. yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, so it's normally like you know, someone will get in contact and they will say, look, you know, do you yes. want to play here or do you want to play there? Or, yeah, so they've had they've had artists over there outside before. They've had them at the pavilion. They've had out the back on the other side of the bucket list yeah, yeah, yeah. in the amphitheatre thing. They've had things. They've even at times fenced off areas. We played. Uh, was it days like this? I think. Uh, okay. I was trying to remember the name before. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Days like this. Days like this. Yeah. Days like this. So yeah, I yeah. Originally, years ago, they started here. Yeah. There's something going on here, and um, this is before my time. Yeah. But then they brought it back. In, okay. Uh, one year, like maybe about three or four years ago. Yeah. And I played here. With my little band, uh, my little project out. It was an album out on, on Ninja Tune Records. Yes. And we played here for, for that. You know? Oh, tremendous. Yeah. And um, back at Bondi, obviously it's a big sports and. Um yeah, sports ocean sort of theme with your music over the years, and we're still going through your portfolio. Um, so we're not, we don't know every single track off by heart. But have have um, have you actually ever have you ever incorporated Bondi like the surf or beach culture into your songs or nature? And I mean, or, or do you, how, how do you decide what you will actually write about that then becomes a um, a song and a performance? Well, I suppose more so. I mean, a lot of my music is more of a channeling kind of thing. Like, you know, so I, you know, I hear the idea of my head and I lay it down, right? Yeah. But uh, I suppose if you, in terms of content, I would say, you know, the, 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 the Bondi environment would influence me more in terms of the, like, the weather, you know, the sunshine, so, you know, it, it might make, make, you know, lyrical content or just the feeling of the music a bit more... I say a bit more summery feeling. Or <laughs> yeah, look, enjoy sun and fun. We thought we'd get the beach thing to represent Bondi Beach on the global stage again, keeping the council happy and the local arts community. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, it's kind of um, stuff just comes to me naturally, essentially. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. And, and, it, and it, could, it could have a connection to Bondi. It could have a connection to, to life in general, if you like. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, back in the day when I used to write, it was a lot more kind of um, a lot more out there, you know, like sort of. I'd say it was more rooted in the ether, you know, yeah? yeah. Whereas now, obviously, because there's quite a lot going on in the world, so, you know, things are starting to creep into my lyrics a lot more these days, if you like, do you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. you know, if you listen to my stuff over the last few years, you kind of hear some sort of references to things that I feel strongly about around the world. But, 
I, I, you know, I used to have this saying, you know, like music is for music's sake. Yes. But obviously, you know, you know, you have a voice, and so sometimes if you feel some, feel some things, you know, let it be known. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I'll never force it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm thinking maybe some of this happy noise in the background. It might even be a good omen. You know, like a good. It might be a good sign of things to come down the track. For you. you never know. Yeah. So, um, look, it's been great to showcase Bondi Beach with you today, Steve. So we will continue to follow your great, um, your career with great interest. And thank you very much for joining us. And we'll be in touch very closely.